Hello everyone. They are selling at Twitch stream and I do stream on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and during the weekend. Basically every day, 3 p.m. Central Time. And in today's video, I have some battles in the Wither Cup submitted by Joe Jolteon, a Spice Lord that is running Aragorn, uh, Agron in the Wither Cup. And he said, it's been doing great for him. He's playing an ABB team, Double Rock and Anti-Fighter. Well, that's an amazing lead, technically. Uh, Obama Snow, safe swap, punishing all those Obama Snows. I was expecting him, to be honest, to run Dragon Tail. But he's running the SmackDown. I'm expecting it just for the A9s, which is worth it. He called the bait on the first one. He shielded the nuke on the next one. That's good. And you don't mind um, uh, Empoleon that much because you can hit back with super effective thunder and you can easy grab a shield. Uh, Jellison just destroy everything about Empoleon. So at this man here, you can literally take two moves easily. Leave this matchup also with energy, even if they have energy lead. He's running Bubble Beam on the left side. This is so tilting to watch because I always keep the Nuke stab move on the left side and the other move on the right side. Okay. Imagine running Arag Agron. Aragorn. <laughs> and he has another Rock. And they have another Ice in the back. So, this is the best team for double Ice in the back if you're looking for a team. I think we still have two days in the Wither Cup. And hopefully I can both post this video tomorrow, the 21st of september 2022 so if you're watching this i'm recording this in the past one day before uh i don't know about that but the opponent basically lost the game so it doesn't matter what he does here he's at 2500 i think he climbed with this team to 2600 and that these battles are like from six days ago the first i think the second day in the wither cup i would consider this team very spicy just because it doesn't have any answer to cradley and it doesn't have any answer, any straight answer to Cradley again. And it loses to Swampert in the back, like a hard loss, because they have double Smackdown. So this team is basically an ABB that relies on baiting out the Swampert. Uh, they have Kendra. Kendra is a solid coil breaker to this team, since he's not running. How about A-Slash? A-Slash is a neutral, because they have Shadow Claw, non-stab, doesn't do damage. They have Smackdown, which is a stab, hard-hitting... Rock in neutral fast mode. That's fine. Maybe our uh, 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 Gron can take double super effective from boulders, but you still live one, so you don't care. Uh, that was a good catch by him. Rock slide is single resisted, I'm sure, but his smackdown is super effective, if I am correct, because Rock doesn't resist Rock. It's weird. No one, no one plays Rock Pokemon. They are bad in general, but in this cup, Agron has been doing him like some decent work so far. The problem with Agron is that it doesn't have any baiting move. Oh, they have Razor Leaf. This is kinda Monkeus, but he should still be able to get to this. And they cut his move. That's actually bad for him now. Let's see how he's gonna salvage this. Okay, he salvaged by leaving the matchup. <laughs> I should have just told. Just load. This team lost to one Dialga. Wait, can they use Dialga in the little in the in this cup chat? Okay, never top left trainer. Yeah, never top left, even if you're losing. Uh, I technically say never top left until you see the third, because you might have a win con versus like your third might just sweep the third. So until you see the third Pokemon, never top left. Upon the Shadow Ball, Joe Jolteon is either lagging or he's doing a calculated no tap so he doesn't get stuck in the battle. Yeah, not something else. Uh, he's bubble beaming here. Having bubble beam is weird because you need the ice beam to hit the cradle with super effective move. Uh, maybe this okay. Since he debuffed, I don't think that grass nut will KO, so that meet, might end up being a calculated move and he might end up getting to two shadow balls. So let's see. Was it a grief or it was calculated? Well, he forced the opponent to throw another one, so technically that was good for him so far. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, they have Blaziken. We swap because counter is neutral here. We're like in the back. It's double super effective. We shielded the Blaze Kick, but technically he has to go for the full farm down. He lived this. He doesn't need to shield. He recognized that and he didn't. He died. They died to two Smackdowns and now he can just go straight. X Scissor. He denied. This is a bug in the game where like if their Pokemon faint and they bring in another one, you might deny. So that's why you should insta throw. 
to abuse this bug. I mean, it's not a bug abuse because it's in the game, right? Now he can just swap and heavy slam, super effective charge move and hit this cradley with a pog move. Moving into the next battle, let's see. Joe Joltion at 25.1. Second day. Uh, this is a rough matchup. One, he get the weak connection in the lead, which means he's like two turns behind or one turn at least. Uh, Jelly doesn't reliably beat Kendra if they shield the Shadow Ball. And Kendra doesn't reliably beat it, but Kendra at least has charge move. Oh boy, this is bad. Well, at least he baited it. He paid, he baited it, baited it out, right? So he's more likely to have a better matchup since they have the code breaker. He tried to get to the rock slide, he didn't get to it, and he recognized that and he instantly the move, which is good for him. He managed to get it this thing like as low as possible. Shielding here is kind of must because he doesn't want to drop on health, and he can get the shield back from the Kindra. He went for the bubble beam. Let's see. Recording a Wither Cup team one day before it leaves. Yes, because I don't want this thing to change the meta, right? Copy him. <laughs> oh, but he didn't get to the move. That's kind of bad. Yeah, we don't want to change the meta one day before it leaves. I mean, he sent me these battles like a long time ago. And I wasn't able to download the battles, so he resent them today. So, you know, we have to do it. Judge Altion is a big fan of the, of the channel. And we get to show them also a support by featuring their spice battles. He might end up getting to this move. Let's see. No. So it's saying he's a master at baiting. So toxic. 25.85. Wow. Uh, the battles aren't in the exact same order. He's queuing into another Spice Lord. I mean, Agron is a spicy Pokemon, yes, but it's bulky. So, you know, that can salvage this. Like, it's not a spicy bad Pokemon. But if you see a Swampert, you just lose the game. That's why people would rather use uh, Cradley as a Rock type, because it can beat Swampert as well, right? I mean, technically, Cradley is a monster in this cup. Jellicent is just becoming the best safe swap. And Kingra is just becoming like the main carry in this cup. He they swapped, they get one turn swap, so they get denied. He didn't. I'm assuming he's going for the catch, which he did end up getting right there. Savage by leaving. Uh, he doesn't live a shadow ball, but does he care? No, well, he did. Is this an XL can uh, castle? Because I don't have one. Well, it's best buddy. So that might mean that it's an XL Cradley. Because it's not doing that much damage from charge move. Okay, he's going for the bait here. Maybe he likes baiting as uh, Get Your Ball mentioned in chat. Yo, call it. Call it. Okay. I mean, it doesn't do that much damage. Wait, is it Razor? No, it's part of the snow. It's not Razor Leaf. Let's see. I agree. He has to go for the full farm down. They need to hit with heavy slam. They hit with hunter or thunder, and that was simul KO, and they both fainted at the same time. But he had another Pokemon with one HP in the back, and he ended up winning the matchup. Another Agron. Uh, why he's going for the debuff? I'm assuming because they died to one X and Shadow Ball, and he doesn't want to shield. Maybe. I mean, he ended up shielding, so let's see. Two shield flex, he did. Now he's going for the catch, he's counting. I have no idea how many smackdowns for the Stone Edge, but he knows because he's playing this Pokemon. They swap into Blaziken, this is a horrible swap. Okay, is he gonna call it? No, he didn't call it. And they have Stone Edge, yo. Poignant is also spicing it up with that stone edge. He's gonna throw in good timing. He ended up throwing at three, so they are at seven now. So they called the bait. I would, yeah, I would bubble beam even if I would get to the shadow ball because this is a guaranteed shield. And you can chip the charm. Uh, they swapped. This is actually good for him because now he can get to the rock slide before they get to their move and he can farm all the way down. What's up, Swampy? Welcome in. 
And GG trainer, GG. Another battle. Let's see. Golem. I don't know whether this is good or bad. I mean, why did this swapped out? Now it's good. Like, it was kinda... Meh. Now it just became good. Right? It was a deny. Wait. Kressel doesn't win CMP. Am I right? Counter swapping Kressel with an ice type. Easy. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> You know, they are trying to get rid of their ice Pokemon because opponent has jealousy, So they ended up swapping into a horrible matchup. See? See that, guys? See this? This is a very well played. See what he did? He got himself very low on HP. So the opponent can't get more than one fast move worth of energy. Five head. That was a well played. Like... Because, like, Volt, like, that thing generates million energy per second, right? Okay, so they resist both of our moves, so let's see how he's gonna play it. Wild Charge hits so hard, he heavy slam. Oh boy. Oh boy, Smackdown is actually doing lots of damage. Omega Brains. <laughs> Yo, the Hex is critting. Have you guys ever seen uh, Hex doing that much damage? <laughs> They will die now. And <laughs> well played. <laughs> hmm. Jealousy into Shadow Kingdom. This is horrible. I don't want... I don't like playing this versus Shadow Kendra. Because if I bait no shield, it's a loss. If I nuke, they shield. If they bait, I shield, it's bad. So the best way is to shield an Outrage. Yeah, they get the attack fell. Now they can no shield this. That did nothing, dude. That did nothing. Okay, he called the Octazooka. This is actually good by him. I mean, he swapped. Uh, he should KO. Yo, Empoleon in the back. I have... Yeah, see? Now we have no answer to this Empoleon. So this is kind of like a uh, an insta-loss. Because he needs his Jellicent to be healthy enough to beat the Empoleon. He didn't get the Rock Slide. So this is kind of GG. These are the, like the problems with like ABB teams. If you don't save your lead sometimes, you just lose, right? Because your A doesn't have enough health to kill their backline. And you need your A to still have some coverage, like to still get some to get some use versus their backline in case they have a counter poking into the ABB you're playing. Uh Krassel? Yo, Xizer is super effective. Fight yo! Maybe Crystal is the Pokemon I'm looking for. Because I'm trying I need I need a Pokemon that can beat Ludicolo in the zero. I would hex down. Well he did. And he managed to get lots of energy. Kendra, come back. Let's see. They brought in the Obamas. Now this is actually good for him because now he can like get it low on health. And then sweep. Whoa, whoa. Opponents through using the wrong steel rock Pokemon. Why using a level 50 proper bass when you can just use Agron? Right? Wait for lag, then top lift. <laughs> Nowadays. <laughs> Opponent lagging was the wing con. I mean, proper bass has the spark. So you destroy Kendra. Right? It's not bad of a matchup, just because they don't have health. Let's see what they do here. They shielded. That's bad. Oh, boy. Well, they don't have enough health, so... Well, that was a well played. That was a good matchup. Moving to the next one. Let's see. Lantern. Core Breaker. What do we do? We go Crustle. Why did they swap? Like... <laughs> Okay, guys, if you're watching this video, just because the opponent is swapping doesn't mean you have to swap. Opponent swapped from a good matchup into a bad matchup. Uh, he dropped a frame there, so his game lagged for one turn. And because of that, he ended up shielding once. Bad boys for life. 
and see his lantern is no longer that healthy it would still hit with super effective but it doesn't matter that much because he can live too and he can hit with the neutral thunder what matters is that it's no longer fully hp uh, they have two i don't see a reason to shield he recognized that well played sir uh two three catch four catch catch oh boy it didn't catch oh never mind they have talon flame imagine using talon flame in this cup one uh i don't agree with this i would do yeah see so guys what he did he threw a hex he stopped tapping for one second which is two turns which what talent flame needs to get to that flame charge or brave bird or whatever and then he swapped to catch this move on the one hp pokemon Now he can do four hexes and then throw before they get to the next move. Lantern literally destroyed the entire team, and that was the last battle. We ended up on probably the best battle in the in the in those submitted battles. And yeah, Jojo, thank you so much for sending me these battles. Yes, it it might not look it might no longer be a wither cub, but those are some skillful gameplays thank you so much for sending me these battles i will make sure to leave his uh, twitter in the description so make sure to give him a follow to stay updated with his spies or you can just join the discord where like my discord where he's like active there thanks so much for everyone for watching if you're watching this video if you like the content leave a like make sure to get you to the channel make sure to subscribe it's the end of the video and see you in the next one peace